design of concrete beam to europe code today we are going to discuss about the singly reinforcement section design to europe code here we are only concentrate on design for bending what is a single reinforced section? Single reinforced section is that does not require the compression reinforcement. That section is enough to that we can only require to provide the tension reinforcement. The compression stress will be carried by the concrete and we need not to provide the compression reinforcement. So let's discuss the procedure first. Step by step procedure will be discussed first, then we go to the work example. On calculation method in Euro code now uh, based uh, on the PS standard now we consider XOD as 0.5 in designs but when when it come to the Euro code the XODs they are considered as 0.5 this is for your information but when you study further you may need those things to learn but in this example you might need not to know all those stuff here straightforward method is discussed in calculating the bending moment first you need to calculate the effective depth that's the first thing based on the cover main reinforcement bar diameter and strap diameter you can calculate the effective depth during the example we'll see how we can calculate the effective depth then you have to calculate the k k is equal to m over b squared over f c k here m is the bending moment B is the width of the beam or width of the section. D is the effective depth. FCK is the characteristic cylinder strength of the concrete. Now, this theory not only apply for the beam, any other section that does having the bending moment, we can use this theory. But a section having both bending and axial forces, you can't use this theory. Now, we know how to calculate K, then we have to check whether K is less than K dash. K dash equal 0.167 according to the Euro code. So all these values are given in the standard. What you need to check is check whether K is less than 0.167. If it is less than that, that section can be considered as a singly reinforced section. That's the way we identify whether section is fall as a singly reinforced or doubly reinforced. So if it is singly reinforced, we can follow this procedure. Next step is to calculate the lever arm for calculating the lever arm also there is an equation given in the standard so you can use this equation so here d you can calculate from the section k as you discuss as we discuss we can calculate then you can evaluate the lever arm from this equation also you have to check whether lever arm is less than 0.95 d that you have to maintain if it is exceed the 0.95d you have to consider d1 as 0.95d that is z equal 0.95d you have to consider in the calculations once you calculate the leave arm you can calculate the reinforcement area for the section that, that is the next step so you know the bending moment and then you know the characteristic yield strength of the reinforcement then you have calculated the z or the leave arm then you can easily find the reinforcement area from this equation that's all it's simple so there are other things you have to look into when you design a section now there are some limitations maximum reinforcement area minimum reinforcement area all those are also you have to consider according to the euro code you have to consider two requirements are there one is the as provided the provider reinforcement area shall be greater than 0.26 into f CTM divided by FYK into BD but it does not less than 0 0.0013 BD that's both requirement we need to satisfy here FCTM is the unknown parameter because FYK is the actual yield strength you know B and D are the section with an effective depth so you have to be aware about CTM what's this this is the tensile strength of the concrete so you can find this from the table 3.1 of the euro code the method of obtaining this value is given in the euro code you can straight away refer this table for that particular concrete grade you can obtain this value it's not that difficult then you have to check the maximum reinforcement requirement 100 as provided divided by ac ac is the cross section area shall be less than 4 that also you have to check so all those things are known you know the provided area reinforcement area now now you know the section area then you can check easily that also if 
we have provided follow this procedure correctly then you are ended up with the correct correct enforcement area so now let's work with the work example then you will be better than that we discussed so let's consider a section these are the some parameters of the sections for the data height of the section h is equal 450 millimeter width of the section 225 millimeter cover to the reinforcement 25 millimeter bending moment of the section kilo newton meter this unit is not correct actually the unit should be kilo newton meter bending moment we consider in the you know, there is no something like this then the cube cube strength is it correct no you have to consider cylinder strength when you can when you do the design with your code you have to consider cylinder strength characteristic cylinder strength in this example fck not fcu fck is 20 newtons per millimeter square reinforcement yield strength yk equal 500 newtons per millimeter square in this example since we are not aware about the reinforcement and links we have to calculate the effective depth now. so in that case we could assume a reinforcement bar diameter and the stay of diameter then with that we can calculate the effective depth now let's see the procedure or the work example now first we calculate the effective depth we depth we know we know the cover so we know the diameter of the bus now we since we assume it as a 20 then minus stop diameter you ended up with 450 as the effective depth this is very easy now effective depth is a depth from the compression same compression fiber to the center of the tension reinforcement bar once you calculate the effective depth you can calculate the k this is the equation we discussed previously bending moment we know now we have to be careful when you substitute these values into the equations because now uh, you have to use the same e same units for all the parameters for all the substitutions you have to use the same unit since we are talking about millimeters beam sections and all that in millimeter cast strength are in newtons millimeter better convert the bending moment into the similar type of unit that is newton millimeter so you have to multiply it by the bending moment by 10 to the power 6 to obtain newton millimeter bending moment in newton millimeter that divide by 225 the section with d is the effective depth so 20 is the cylinder strength so with that you can obtain the k.081 now we know the k value so we have to check whether it's less than 0.167 so it's less than 0.16 therefore section is singly reinforced okay now we know the section is singly reinforced now we can calculate the lever so lever also you can use this equation you know we as we discussed code is zero code you can follow this equation first of all we have to check whether lever is also less than 0.95 d as we discussed so without substitution for the d so we calculate the rest of the year so we know the k value so with that we can calculate the z 0.923 d so we, that this has to be less than 0.95 d so it's less than 0.95 d therefore z we can calculate as 0.923 into 405 that is 373.6 millimeter now we know the lever arm if we know the lever arm we can calculate the reinforcement area from this, this equation m divided by 0.87 phi k into z same as the previous equation you have to use the unit you have to consider the same unit so 60 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 0.87 into f y k 500 into z we have calculated now 373.6 from that we can calculate the reinforcement area as 369.2 millimeter square this is the reinforcement area that we need to provide for that section okay now what how do we provide this you have to be careful when this when once you done the calculation this has to be represented in the drawings no? so that has to be done correctly so 369 how many bars you have to provide from which type diameter that has to be designed so two numbers of t16 bars is adequate here that is the area will be 400 and 400 millimeter square so it's greater than the required area so that has to be that we have to provide in the that you have to provide, indicate in the your reinforcement drawing next step is to check the limitations as we discussed previously we have to 
be within the limits what are the limits minimum reinforcement area and the maximum reinforcement area today we are going to discuss there are other limits or other detail in requirement that we will discuss later in other video but today we are not going to discuss all those but these limits you have to check when you do the calculation of the reinforcement first thing is the minimum reinforcement area the minimum reinforcement area shall not be greater than this value you have to check that and also not greater than 0.0013 bd so first we calculate the this one 0.26 we know if ctm as we discussed previously you can obtain this from the code euro code this value is given based on your concrete bread you can obtain this value from that table 3.1 then divided by yk you know see in the strength then it has to be multiplied by b into d so you ended up with answer 104.2 millimeter square what is the provided area 300 and something so this is less than this 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 requirement is satisfied what's the other requirement that is 0 0.0013 bd 0 0.0013 bd what's what's the value 118.5 millimeter square that also less than the provided reinforcement area therefore the minimum reinforcement area requirement is okay now let's move on to the maximum reinforcement area check what's the requirement 100 ASO is provided by AC less than 4 so what's the 100 days and A is provided 100 is percentage so A is the provided reinforcement area that you have to consider the provided not the required you have to keep in mind because this we are going to check the section for this maximum requirement so you have to consider 400 there okay you have to keep in mind then AC what's the AC AC is the cross sectional area B into H section cross sectional area so you have to consider that you know the section cross sectional area because you you know the dimension of the section now let's see what's the value here 100 you know 400 is the provided reinforcement divided by B into H H is the section height 450 so it is 0.395 Hence, it's less than 4 then it is also satisfied with that the our calculation is all over now we today discuss about calculating bending reinforcement according to the euro code for beam section or similar kind of section even slab section if we don't have axial force you can use this same discussion or same equation to calculate the reinforcement area let's meet again from new video thank you very much for watching our videos.